is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we are back with a brand new discussion style video for you guys as we dive in if you guys were unaware just the other day we did get our first ever mattel creations wwe crowdfunding project it came to fruition the wwe ultimate edition new generation arena was upon us we did the full breakdown review it was over 30 minutes it took me forever to create the thing is set up behind me and it took me a lot because i had to go back and forth between the review stations moving all the lights getting all the stuff correct unboxing it taking you through everything building up the ring it was a very long and due process but it was a lot of fun and i had a ton of fun with it and i'm just so glad that we finally have that crowdfunder in our hands i know a lot of people haven't even gotten their shipping information which i i didn't even want to stress myself out so a lot of people were asking me did i get an email about it was i informed about it and the only the short answer is no but the long answer is yes because i actually went back in my email after a lot of people asked me and they in fact sent me three Three emails that they had shipped or it was uh, because I ordered two of them it let me know that one of them shipped and then the other one shipped but they arrived at the same time and then they sent me a follow-up email telling me that the other one shipped again so I don't know what that was about but I did get an email about it but I wasn't I, I didn't want to stress myself out I saw that people were getting their shipping notifications I saw that people were getting theirs in hand and so what I did was like I, I don't even want to check it bro I'm not even gonna check it because I don't want to be pissed off and stuff so whenever it shows up is when it shows up and lo and behold, it literally showed up like two or three days later. And I was like, oh, wow, what a blessing. So that's kind of how that went. So to answer all those questions, yes, I did get a shipping notification, but I wasn't searching out for it. So it kind of just showed up for me, even though I did get a shipping notification. I was just unaware of it. Nonetheless, we did get our new generation Ultimate Edition Arena, and I thought it was fantastic. First of all, I'm all for crowdfunding projects. I think they're amazing. I think they really are for those hardcore collectors that, you know, they, they put a lot of money and time into this. And I love... I love the, the crowdfunding projects, man. I think they're fantastic. I think that they're a much better route for those crazy things the, other than retail because, you know, when you get all those contracts and you get all those people involved in the process of making and, and selling these crazy play sets and these things that, you know, these crazy collectors, I guess you could call us, you know, when you have to go, the, the more loops and the more hoops and rings of fire you got to jump through, the harder they are to come to fruition. So if you have your own website and you're selling direct to consumer and you have all the factories and you have all your ducks in a row by yourself. You don't have to worry about those other parties getting involved and declining and neglecting and, and you know, just having things fall apart. So having Mattel create everything and having them as like the front line of doing it, that's the best way to do these things. And so I did make a list of some potential future crowdfunding projects that I would like to see or some ones that we could see next. And I'm excited to get into the list with you guys. So just listen up and you guys can leave me your thoughts down below on maybe some that you would like to see. And you can let me know what you think about my list. So I'm gonna go through my list you guys can let me know what you think of mine down in the comment section below and give me your own list i tried to stay away from the eras that we just came from so i highly doubt they would do two new generation eras back to back like that two different projects from the new generation era i think anything's possible of course you know like people that usually spend 200 plus bucks on something like this for an action figure collection or something like that is typically going to be those adult collectors and adult collectors are what they're older so they're gonna go for the throwback projects they're gonna go for things that are nostalgic they're gonna go th they're gonna go for the wallets but I gotta say and this is kind of a shot at myself I'm getting older I don't think I'm too too old you know I'm not like I'm not like a dinosaur yet the older I get the more nostalgic that Mattel and them are gonna be about wrestling stuff we've already seen this with the ruthless aggression era waves coming out we've already seen this with some of the figures that we've been getting as of late and you know all the people that love all these Hulk Hogan's we're getting I hope that when I get a little bit older I hope they pump John Cena I know they already pumped John Cena out like that but imagine the John Cena's we're gonna get in the future because of that case because John Cena is that Hulk Hogan-esque character. Nonetheless man let's shut the hell up and get into my list of projects that I would like to see or that I would fund. I mean I'm gonna fund it anyway let's let's just let's just keep it real. I'm gonna fund the project no matter what it is what era it's from I'm probably gonna buy three of them. Putting it out there now. But my first crowdfunding project is going to be an authentic hell in a cell. Authentic scale hell in a cell but that is not all. I mean I think everybody would freak out to have an authentic scale hell in a cell to put over I think it should be able to be compatible with the main event ring I think it should be compatible with this ring back here obviously you're gonna have more space depending on what ring you use but that's kind of my biggest challenge with some of these ideas that I have because if you include an authentic scale hell in a cell do you need to include a ring and if you include a ring doesn't it need to be accurate to the era that you're making the hell in a cell for but if they just made the cell and you had to figure out the ring situation yourself I just feel like that'd be weird right I don't know you guys maybe it could be like if they make it for the wiki
Quickie Cool Toys ring that they made a hundred of. I guess they could do that as well because we do have multiple versions of that and a lot of people already have that. Or maybe they're going to release a new one and then you have to get that and that. I don't know. We'll have to see about that. Jesus Christ, man. Anyways, Authentic Scale Hell in a Cell with Mankind and Undertaker Ultimate Edition action figures with their own accessories. So we have an Ultimate Edition Mankind and Ultimate Edition Undertaker, both with their own accessories, new stuff. We'd also include at least one announced table. I'd like to see two, but I think one announced table would do wonders. I think that'd be a badass set. Who's not funding that, man? I think it could be fantastic. A Mankind Ultimate Edition would be really outside the box. I think a lot of people would enjoy that. We haven't had a Mankind figure in a really long time, so I think that would be perfect. I say really long time. The Rock and Sock 2-pack was the last time, and that was basically just a repaint. I'd like to see an Ultimate Edition with new bells and whistles on it, new tooling, things of that nature. The next one is one that is up there on my list. I'd say it's probably my number one one or my number two one. It's going to be an authentic scale elimination chamber. Now, there's a few ways you can go about this. I don't know if they would do in uh, like an updated version. I feel like you'd do better if you went for the classic version and you went for that real nostalgic pop. You know, I don't think that a mod, I don't know. I think a modern one would probably sell. I don't know how many would sell, but I think that a lot of people would like it. You know, you got a ton of playability out of that. You could have the WWE logo that you turn the light on and it shines on the ring canvas itself. You'd have your pods, your removable chambers. You'd have your operational doors, breakaway glass. You'd have the spot where they can jump off. Again, it gets kind of tricky when you mention the ring thing. I feel like you'd have to include a ring though because it has to fit specifically on the elimination chamber. It's got to wrap tightly around the ring. I don't know how they would do that in that certain scenario, but as far as figures coming with that, I mean, the only thing I can really think of would be like a new Ultimate Bray Wyatt when he won the WWE Championship. If they went modern, or they could do like maybe a two-in-one and do like the white gear AJ Styles, the white and black Ultimate AJ Styles, but we're also getting a white and blue one already, so it's like, why would they do that? I don't think that's good enough for a crowdfunding project, but if you went classic version with the Elimination Chamber, I'd say give us an Ultimate Shawn Michaels HBK with the World Heavyweight Championship from the first ever Elimination Chamber. You include his entrance gear, you include a bloody head sculpt, he has his schoolboy ugly haircut, no offense Sean. If that's not enough to be included there, I think that's a ton of stuff to include right there, but if they didn't want to do that, I mean, I, I imagine the next crowdfunder is going to be a little bit more expensive. I, I don't think it'll be $250. i am thinking it's probably going to be pushing the $300 mark, maybe the $350, depending on all the bells and whistles you get, what kind of stuff we're getting here, but I guess the more that's included, the more expensive it's going to be, of course, but I think an Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels with that entrance gear, with the World Heavyweight Championship, bloody head sculpts in those ugly brown iconic pants, I think that would be really sweet to have. You know, just a sick-ass elimination chamber, man. And then I guess the next thing would be, could they include a Triple H in there? Could you get another Ultimate Edition Triple H in there from his gear in that matchup? That would be something to include as well. But I think you're going to limit your buyers if you give us something again with another ring. I think they're going to go away from the ring thing this time because you don't want two rings back-to-back. -back. I think that would be kind of an eh thing to do. But at the same time, I don't know how you avoid that depending on what your ideas are and if you include a ring somewhere else in the line or maybe you have another exclusive down the line with the ringside. I don't know. I don't know what that is, but my last thing that I would like to see would be a SmackDown fist stage from the Ruthless Aggression era. This is the big boy. This is the one that I think I'd want the most. I don't know. Uh, that's kind of hard. I think all three are pretty much up there, but I think I'd want the SmackDown fist stage the most. I just think it's so badass and awesome. I would probably buy 10 of these. I, I say that. I know that's insane, but I think buying 10 of those, have your 10 sell them to make a little bit of your money back probably all your money back maybe depending on what that would go for you'd have some for a rainy day i'd like to have one to customize and do something else with maybe i don't know but smackdown fist stage big iconic fist whole entryway do not hold anything back you don't need a ramp you don't have to do the ramp version just do the, the version that sits there i think i mean i guess you could have maybe a ramp option maybe it comes with a little platform and they give you a ramp in case you want to use the ramp that would be kind of cool but hell i even think the raw stage the raw stage would be impressive for from the Ruthless Aggression era. Either one is fine with me. I think I'd prefer the, the SmackDown Fist stage, but if they go with Raw, that would be cool too. But I think that if you include the SmackDown Fist stage, I think an Ultimate Edition Eddie Guerrero would be really badass to come with. I think an Ultimate Edition Ruthless Aggression
Christian Brock Lesnar with a, like cloth jogging pants and t-shirt to go in there would be awesome. Maybe you can interchange arms that don't have any wrist tape on there or something like that. I don't know, but some brand new Brock head sculpts. I don't know, man. There's tons of things you could do there, but that 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 is probably what I would do. I think that would be what I would love to see. Of course, you'd have to include the Undisputed Championship in there or the WWE Championship. I mean, there's, there's a lot of options they could do. I am just so excited. I think we get to see, I don't know if we're going to see the next crowdfunder, but we're going to get some reveals on Thursday, and I guarantee we're probably going to get the next crowdfund project announcement. At least, I imagine it's coming soon because we're getting our hands on the official one back here. If you guys missed that review, definitely go check it out. But since we're getting these things in hand for the first one, I think it's time to announce the second one because it's going to be a whole nother year before we get it in hand, so that would be kind of cool to have your... You'd have a new one every single year. I think that would be amazing. I think that's their plan is to release one per year, and I think this is the way to go, and I, I'm going to back it no matter what. doesn't matter what it is. I'm going to back it, but I would love to know what you guys think below down on my list, and if you have any other cool ideas. I thought that maybe, like, there's a few other things they could do from the Attitude Era, and, and maybe even going further back than that. I just, I don't know. I guess we'll have to see, man, but I'm super excited to find out what it is. I hope that it doesn't drop the ball. I hope that it's not disappointing, but I love the first one, and I, I had no emotional attachment to the first crowdfunder, and I thought it was incredible, and I will be here to review the next one and, and talk about it, and hopefully, if it if I do have emotional attachment to it, it's going to be even crazier, but that is going to wrap up today's video, man. Before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout-out, and that shout-out is going to go to Old School Wrestling Fan. Looks awesome. Hoping the next crowdfunder is the WCW Nitro entrance stage with announcer table and Bobby Heenan, Tony Schiavone, Larry Sabisco, and Nitro ring ropes and turnbuckles, Nitro ring mat and apron, and obviously, they probably couldn't do Tony Schiavone, but they probably could do Heenan, Zabisco, and I think that would be pretty cool. I thought the entrance stage was insane that they showed off at Comic-Con this year, but I don't know if they would show it to us if they were going to give it to us, you know what I mean? But they're showing what, what is possible, and they showed that with the Attitude Era back at WrestleMania Axis, and then they showed it with WCW here, and I think they're trying to gauge interest, but they never made the SmackDown fifth stage, so I think all the arrows point to a SmackDown fifth stage, but you know, who am I, Brad? You know, who am I? But that, that guy that makes those stages, if he watches my videos, Brad, I'd love to see him create something custom for me. That dude's very talented. The dude that makes those sets for Mattel, insanely talented. If I had even just a sliver of that talent, bro, that'd be just incredible. But huge shout out to Old School Wrestling fan. I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one. You cross the line.